taking stock of which are the big events lined up tomorrow and of course fed event is the one uh, that we ne really need to watch out for the two day meet on the us interest rates will commence tomorrow which will be end of day for us tomorrow uh, but nonetheless uh, the expectation is that there could be a big a case of a 50 basis point increase as well when we started off the month the talk was there is going to be likely 25 basis point cut but now the expectation has turned in fact Till yesterday, it was a 50-50 chance of 25 cuts or 50 basis point cut. This uh, morning when we are checking, it's turned in favor of a 50 basis point cut with uh, more than 60% of the participants expecting a 50 basis point uh, cut coming in rather than a 25 basis point cut. So that remains important. Apart from that, US industrial production as well as retail sales data will be out, so that's important to track. Uh, there is also the fact that India WPI will come out tomorrow, so that's something back home to watch out for. K. Trival, the Chief Minister of Delhi, has said that he will resign within two days. So tomorrow, that could be the big political headline that we'll be watching out for. And Prime Minister Modi is vis visiting Bhubaneswar. So just taking a look at what all of that is happening. And of course, here in Mumbai, there could be uh, a lot of traffic jams uh, tomorrow because of the fact that there is going to be Ganpati Vesarjan. So plan your day accordingly as well. But for today, it's a pretty much okay kind of day that we have seen for the markets. We're ending in the green 25,378. Yes, not that 25,400 would have looked uh, very nice to close above that, but just about that level. Banking index outperforming today with that four tenth of a percent gain coming in. Broader markets a bit more muted. Mid cap 100 doing okay, but the small cap index was a bit tepid. So just around that 19,530 mark. A lot of losers which were from the housing finance space today. Uh, LIC housing for instance, you also had PNB housing coming under pressure. And despite that bumper listing of Bajaj housing finance, Bajaj finance was actually lower. Remember the stock had run up on Friday. But uh, given the fact Bajaj Housing Finance has seen a solid listing ending at the highest point of the trading session, a lot of volumes on that one, a lot of buying interest still uh, being witnessed as far as the bourses is concerned. So that remains an important talking point. BSC 18% higher, Godfrey Phillips 11% gain, Adani Twins of Adani Green as well as Power were in focus. A lot of sugar stocks with Raveni Engineering, Thermax on that 500 crore order win, Dixon Tech on account of that partnership. All of these stocks ended in the green and so did the rest of the market. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of Closing Trades from the entire team who put the show together. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.